Shannon, where you at, man? Oh, I'm back here. What's going on, brother? We got some cool clients, oh, man. We got guests in the house. Yes, we do. What's happening, gentlemen? I'm Danny. Brandon. Brandon. Pleasure. Nice to meet you, man. Pleasure. Danny, I'm Jack. Jack! Hey. Very nice to meet you. Good Jack, to meet it's you. It's a pleasure. What are we doing, guys? What's, uh, what's the deal? So we're building a custom chopper for World Series of Poker. On this episode of Counting Cars. Is this a true SS? Yep. You don't see original 67 Camaros, especially not the SSs. Oh, this is beautiful. Bro, I love all this. I've yeah. never seen a gas tank like that before. No, no, that's cool. Are you doing that rain stuff again? Yeah. I want to do a panel. OK. Yeah. On one condition. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. This is Counting Cars. So we want to build a chop to represent World Series Poker. That's it. And what are we going to do with the bike? So a year from now, we're going to actually be giving this bike away. I dig it. But yeah, it ain't man. this bike. No, it won't be this one. <laughs> hey, I can I was going to say, this is Shannon's bike. So, no, no. <laughs> What's the vibe of the bike? Well, the whole vibe of the bike is about what it feels like to be a World Series of Poker champion and, and having that feel of playing poker oh. and having this bike kind of represent a world champion poker player right there. It's, it's to represent the vibe of I'm number one. I'm the man. Poker and Chopper kind of have this authentic feel that kind of go together simultaneously. So that's what we're feeling. And they stand out. They make a statement. Mm -hmm. OK, he said the key word. It's a chop. Bro, if it's up to us, you know me. Oh, I got down you. Tube, down tube stretch, backbone stretch, raked out, love all that stuff. I'm nice big you. engine, fat enough tire. Here's, here's always a, the, the, the challenge for me. This bike is to represent the World Series of Poker. I get that and respect that. But I'm also an anti-billboard guy. Of I don't course. Want it, I don't want it to be like this advertisement theme bike going on the road. I hate that kind of stuff. So you want us to build a Counts Customs cool bike to make a bold and powerful statement. So I know if you're building it, it's going to be the best chopper ever. I'm totally digging it. Well, then let me ask you guys two really important questions. Time frame and budget. What are you guys thinking? So one, in terms of time frame, looking at around three months. OK. And then budget, about $50,000 all in to you guys. I'm feeling it. Oh, yeah, we got this. All right, done. Gentlemen, let's go to the office and fill out some paperwork and get this party started. Cool. Oh, oh, cool. Like come a plan. Come on. You know, it's always awesome when a client comes into the shop, gives you a creative blank check to work on their project. You know, it's always a little tricky, too, doing these corporate gigs, man, because, you know, if I think something looks cool, maybe their marketing and PR department might not think it's so cool. I got to trust my instincts here, and I got to trust my team that we're going to build these folks a wicked bike. Rock and Thank roll. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, you, the man. Thank you, Shannon. Come on, gents, let's do this. This will be great, man. W-S-O-P. Jeff gave me a call, said he's got a stacked lot. He is not lying. My good buddy Jeff gave me a call and said his lot was filled with cars. So while Shannon's mocking up the poker bike, Mike and I are going to take a little field trip to check out some rides. If Jeff has as many cars as he says he has, he might be willing to discount some of them, you know, thin out the herd. We already know that I can't afford that. Yeah, we know we can't afford can't that. Can't afford that. No. Oh, this looks beautiful, <laughs> but very unaffordable. <laughs> Challenger, eh? Oh, I don't even mind that it's orange. Oh, man. Oh, this is beautiful. 73 Challenger. Dude, this is a beauty. This is sexy. I like Hi, guys. Hey, hey, what's Jeff, up, Andrew? How you doing, Mike? Is this one for me? That's for you, buddy. 30 grand. <laughs> I'm just going to turn my back to it. <laughs> <laughs> you were not kidding, man. You were stacked with cool cars. They're funny. everywhere. So what you think of the Camaro? <laughs> that thing is beautiful. Yeah. 67 Camaro. Well, this is an all-original 350 car. Is this is a true SS? Yep. Wow. 1967 was the year Chevy released the Camaro into an already crowded muscle car field. It was an instant hit. The SS variety was especially popular with the upgraded engine, suspension, and exterior details that let the world know this was a performance beast. The Camaro had one important distinction that made it stand apart from all the others that year. It was chosen as the official pace car for the 1967 Indy 500. Four pace cars were built for the actual race, and about 100 more replicas were sold to the public, helping the Camaro soar in popularity. You don't see original 67 Camaros very often at all, especially not the SSs. Look under the hood. Heck yeah. I like looking at things I can't afford. That's the original 350 engine. Wow, like original, original. 
Wow. No power brake. She does have a little bit of aftermarket stuff on her. All right. The houndstooth interior is cool for this car. It really is. It says late 60s. How much was this back in the day? Uh, I could ballpark it probably in the three, $4,000 range. Three, $4,000. It's worth 40 now. <laughs> cool. Ooh, 57 Bel Air. Look at that. That's it. That's hot rod right there. This is an original 57. It's got a 283 power pack in it. Black 57 Chevy, red and black interior. This is, I mean, this, this is it. This I is dig it. the interior, though. That's nice. Yeah, I really like the material in that. Do you like guys go first spin? In this? Yeah. Do I get to drive? No, you're not driving. <laughs> Do you like guys go first spin? In this? Yeah. Do I get to drive? <laughs> no, you're not driving. <laughs> Man, Jeff was not lying. He has some gorgeous cars lined up here, and I'm not about to turn down a ride in a beautiful 57 Bel Air. I'm sitting in the back. You sit up front. No, I'm gonna sit in the back. No, I mean, you're the boss. No, I'm... Is that so you can smack me in the back of the head? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting out of here. All right. Here we go. It's a badass ride. Incredibly smooth. 57 Chevy, man. You were styling back in the day. Oh, yeah. This was cream of the crop. Well, am I winning you over yet on this? Well, he's the only one that can get Danny to make the move. Well, you, you need to be in the front seat, and you in the back, so I can talk to the guy who's got the connection. Well, that's why I sat in the back. <laughs> I could cruise around in this Bel Air all day, but that bike back at the shop, it's not going to paint itself. So Mike and I, we got to go back to work. Well, here we are. All right, thanks for the cruise. You're buddy. welcome, anytime. Next time, we'll take out one of the faster ones. Or that orange Challenger, right? Uh, I just want to take that home. I like that I a mean, lot. I mean, it's a different flavor. Dude, the lines are killing me. This thing, gentlemen, what's up? What's up? What's going on? What's up? No, what's up, man? It's World Series of Poker, WSOP. Oh, what's up? man. It's a World Series of Poker bike, right? <laughs> Shin has been working double time on putting together this beautiful rolling chassis for this WSOP bike, man. And I got to tell you, it's wicked. So right now, Ryan and I, we're going to check it out, lay out a game plan for the paint. That's a great looking frame, yep. dude. It's got the right look. Look at the lines on this thing. Oh, yeah. That beautiful sugar bear. What, what length is that, brother? It's a 21. Ask me why a 21. Why is it a 21? That's because what he had. <laughs> uh, hey, Shannon, uh, I got this 21 over. Do uh, you need one? How am I going to say no? We'll take any Sugar Bear front end we can get. It looks exactly like our long bikes, just not as long. Right, exactly. The lines are still right. Yep. So WSLP, what they're looking to do is they're looking to use the bike as kind of a promotional vehicle. We want a certain amount of World Series of Poker vibe to it, but we don't want it to be like a theme bike. We want to keep it right. counts customs cool and not be some giant, you know, advertisement or something. No big poker chip wheels. No or... billboard magazine No, ads. it is not Dang. a theme bike. We'll subtly put World Series of Poker things integrated into it right. to make sure, you know, that it's tied in with their company, but it's not a billboard, no. This just needs to get attention, get people interested. Yes. Yeah. This we can do. This will be cool. Well, I can guarantee you that it's not going to have WSOP all over the gas tank. Really? Why not? Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding me. Ah. Dude, that's right? beautiful. That is oh, holy I crap. Ca I can open it, so watch out. It might be sharp. So this tank's going to be way down on the frame. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on there. <laughs> oh, I love, I love all this. Those diamond-shaped pretty cool. Corporations huh? oh, in it is man. just with the right color. Yeah, dude. that's just going to blind you. I've yeah. never seen a cast tank like that. Before. No, no, that's cool. Can you imagine when you get this thing out in the sunlight, how that tank is going to dance with all of that cut in there? That's dude. There's your centerpiece right there. That's that's going to dictate. That's such a cool piece. It's going to dictate the rest of the bike. You can do the diamond stitch in the seat. Oh, yeah. oh beautiful. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Nice combo. Yep. Bro, I, I absolutely dig it uh, 100%. These folks are going to be stoked. Heck this is going to yeah. be stunning. So run with the gentleman. I can't Sweet. wait to get this Thank gas you. tank. Thanks, Shannon. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. Yeah. Oh, he'd love that. Sweet. Mm. 
I'm feeling pretty strong about this streak. Get it? Uh, feeling pretty strong. Shannon's almost done putting together the frame for that chopper, and it's coming out absolutely beautiful. But before it gets ready for paint, I figured I'd take Ryan out. We'll go cruise around, see what's out there, try to keep some work flowing in the shop. Old Mercedes there to the right. You know I love those. Yeah, yeah. I got one. Don't need another one. Corvair wagon. And we are not doing a Corvair wagon. I don't care. Oh, it's just on the left. Chevy 53, 54. Yeah. You got to take four inches out the front and six inches out the back. Yeah, that is going to be a lot of money. Right. OK, dude, I'm sorry. It's a checker. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wagon. Well, it's a limo. It's a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying this. <laughs> I just have to know the story on this one. I just, I can't resist. I just gotta know. <laughs> hey, how you doing? We're car guys. We caught a glimpse of this very interesting vehicle as we were driving by and just wanted to get the story on that thing. Um, actually, my husband should be home in like, hopefully any minute now. Oh, okay. Oh, Welcome home. home. Ryan, nice I'm, to meet I'm you. Danny. Danny, nice to meet you. You are? Phil. Phil, I hope you don't mind us bugging you for a minute, but we were driving by and we got another story. Do you have a few minutes? Do you Absolutely. mind? It's cool, man. The iconic Checker taxi cabs could be seen roaming American city streets for much of the 20th century. The company was founded in 1921 when Morris Market, who had been running cabs and an auto body shop in Chicago, loaned $15,000 to a friend with a car manufacturing business. Markin eventually absorbed his friend's company and Checker Cab Manufacturing was born. While for much of their history, this Kalamazoo-based manufacturer produced only commercial taxis and airport shuttles like this one, in the late 1950s, they introduced two passenger cars, the Suburba and the Marathon both of which continued production up until the company stopped all production in 1982. First off, what year is it? 69. OK, and it is a checker. Absolutely. And why and when and what did, did they do all of this to it? Well, Lengthen my dad was out. Air Force. Military man. Yes. So we well, traveled a lot. God bless him for his yeah. service. Man. So we traveled cross country, had uh, six children in the family. So he needed a car to hold them all. Your dad bought this. Yeah. He Brand flew, new. Flew to Kalamazoo, drove it off the assembly line. So th no this was way. the family so ride. This was this a was, private yeah. family car. Absolutely. When, when was the last time this car ran? The last on the road was uh, probably 30 years ago. 30 years she'd been sitting. Yeah. Wow. My understanding was everything was stock except the fact that he put the brakes from the eight doors on it. Huh. Do you mind if I just take a peek? No, not at all. <laughs> Do you see how big the back doors from the front door? The front door is still kind of small, and all the back doors. Oh wow! Oh, uh, we used to when we traveled, we'd sit on the floor and color on the seat. Look how yeah. much room there is. That's yeah. huge. And when we did field trips, when I was in like second grade, they'd yeah. say, "How many kids can you take?" My mom would say, "No, yeah, we'd take like 18." <laughs> <laughs> is there an engine in there? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Can we take a peek? Please, yeah. Wow. Queen Jane 351. Oh, it's a Target Master. It's, replace, it's replacement. Yeah. Yeah. I would be curious as to what what would it take to buy this car? I am I'm just curious. Five to eight years ago, maybe, I was talking to a guy in California, and he said probably uh, he could find a buyer for about 5000 as it is. As is, yeah. As it is. Gotcha. This thing is cool. This thing is cool. You rock. Appreciate what it. I do. We'll talk to you again, <laughs> I'm sure. All right. Take care. You rock, bro. Yo. I almost fell. <laughs> I didn't see it. I didn't get to see that. Do well, it. good. No, no, we're again. good. We're good. <laughs> Shannon's got the World Series of Poker bike all mocked up. That means it's time to paint this thing. This is a big budget bike, and it needs to just scream, come check me out. So I'm working on some 3D graphics to incorporate the gas tank. That way, everything stands out, literally. Damn, man. Are you doing that rain stuff again? Yeah. This is clean right here. This is pretty badass. That is sick as hell, isn't it? But look how clean the letters dude, are, dude. Wicked. World Series of Poker. Just Why? like the poker chip. Why do you never let me do this? I want to do a panel. Why? What do you mean, why? Why? I just like the idea of the raised paint. But you don't need my permission. Go. 
This you cup. never let me do what uh, I want to do. I tell you what you need to do. Do a panel. You don't really mean that. No, this is that double-edged sword. I want to work, I don't want to work. I want to work, I don't want to work. I want to work, don't include me. I want to work, don't include me. Don't include me, I want to be included. Yeah but, yeah, but you usually got me out there sanding something while you're in here doing something wicked. I'm never going to keep you from learning. I'm just going to prove to you I can do it. And there you go. You'll know I can do it, and then the next project you maybe include me in on. OK. On one condition. You pull it off, there won't be, hey, Mike, do you want to help? It'll be, I expect you to do this. I'm going to hold you to it. I'm down. I'm down. Okay. I'm fine with that. Get out of here. Go do it. I'm going to. Well, now i got to figure out what to do. You're off to get started, dude. You what? make that big fight, and well, now I don't know what to do. Well, now i got to think of something. I know when Mike says he's going to get something done, he's going to get it done when he feels like getting it done. Hell will freeze over before I see that panel. But if nothing else, it keeps him busy, so I have time to get my work done in peace and quiet. OK, that's what I was doing. Every time, forget what I was doing, bothers me, and now I gotta figure out what the hell I was doing again. A few months back, we were approached by the World Series of Poker folks. They wanted us to build a custom chop that captures the vibe of being a champion. We were given 100% complete freedom on this build to do what we want to do. So this thing is going to be cool, but it ain't going to be a billboard. And Ryan, he's got a wicked paint job that he's wrapping around the whole concept of a cool gas tank that Shannon found. Poker Jack is back in the shop here today to see his bike. What's happening, Jack? Man, I am so excited about today, and I can't wait for him to check it out. I know he's going to dig it. So, Jack. Tell me about the purpose for this bike. We wanted the person riding this bike to feel like a World Series of Poker champion. You jump on and you ride off into the sunset. I guarantee you something here, man. You're not going to want to give this thing away. No, no, you're not. Well, I might just have to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard time handing it over right now. Jack, you ready to see this bike? Oh, I'm excited. Let's see it. Shannon, come on, brother. Roll that beautiful bike out. Oh, listen to it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whoa! Unbelievable. To build the ultimate champion's chop, Shannon started with a six down and three out frame paired with a 21 over Sugar Bear front end to make sure this baby handles like a dream. 125 cubic inch motor, beautiful diamond gas tank, and custom fitted pipes has her looking and sounding mean when she's cruising down the road. But this baby doesn't only ride great, she also looks like nothing you've ever seen. Ryan took this paint job to the next level. He started off with sleek black base highlighted with a bright red pinstripe, then added amazing poker-inspired 3D graphics to that rear fender. And no champion's bike is complete without the World Series of Poker Chips subtly hidden underneath the seat. Man, this bike is so beautiful, I'm already jealous of whoever wins it. Man, this bike looks amazing. I mean, I, I want to put my hands all over it. <laughs> like, this thing, this thing just looks unbelievable. Look mm -hmm. at the raised diamonds on the gas tank, the WSOP chip. Look at this. Look at the bracelet. This is the champion's bike. Nice. Shannon, walk Jack through the mechanical, mechanical side of this bike. Well, the frame is a six down, three up. What that means is the way the frame is, it's taller. So those down tubes have been stretched six inches longer. And when he says three out, the backbone is stretched three inches forward. So that makes the bike taller and longer. Puts that whole frame out there, which allows for that beautiful front end. The gas tank, it's a one of a kind. It's not just a paint, it's raised. So you can kind of feel. Yeah. That is slick. This thing is practically carved. We started with the gas tank. Now, it's the first one that we've come across, and it's got you know all the raised diamonds. And transitioning that to the fender, I can't just make a fender look like that. Once all the primer was down and all the graphics were laid out in primer, then I had everything cosmochromed. So the whole bike, the tank and the fender and the oil tank, all were chrome before I even started painting. All of these things, I mean, they, they've literally been sculpted. All the little designs wanted to be like jewelry, so everything was very subtle. This is a masterpiece, Dan. Thank you. That's the team. Try it on. Try it on. Oh. See how it fits. Oh, I thought you would never ask. <laughs> yeah. So you can even ride it with a suit on. A suit? 
folks, you know, I might be an executive during the day, but when it comes to riding a motorcycle, there you go. nobody needs a jacket, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, needs who needs a jacket, jacket when you're going to ride something like this? Now, try it out. There you go. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep Jack away from this bike long enough for them to give this baby away. She just came out gorgeous, man. We were dealt a challenge. We stepped up. We went all in. As far as I'm concerned, we hit the jackpot. Whoever wins that bike, they really are going to feel like a champion right now. Oh, yeah. No doubt.